this is how I charge my Echo Flow Delta 2 that are in the basement. I used them last night to boil some water and also use it as a test. And now I am recharging it with my inverter. I'm charging it at the speed of about a thousand watts. Some solar input coming in now. And this is my charge controller, 60 amp. And this is a separate system. This is lithium iron and these are lithium iron phosphate. And this is the setup I have. About six solar panels, about 500 watts, and that's the morning sun. So let's go to the basement to see what is so happening. Here you have the wires coming in from the garage, and this is from the echo flow. This is the main battery, the extra battery. And they're now charged to 96% already. They're both at 96%. And you can hear the fans. They're pretty loud. They're cooling the battery. And they're really necessary because if you're charging it at a high rate, then the batteries can warm up. The best thing to do is just to feel the battery, right? If the wires are hot, if everything is hot, then, it's, then it is hot. Then you have to lower the charging speed. Otherwise, they'll be working as they're supposed to. So it's pretty much done. I'm going to just maybe charge it for another 10 minutes and that'll be it. So this would be the backup batteries for my heating system. And normally I don't use them. They're just uh, stored in the basement to, to power my heating and other accessories. If the grid goes down for some reason, these will be here to back me up. Oh, and I will charge them fully because what's the use of backup batteries if they're not fully charged, right? When you need them, they should have close to 100% in charge. 